How do you copy the appearance from one object to another? I did not think you could do this in Illustrator, and there's nothing telling you you can in any good way, but there actually is a way to do it. Unfortunately, you can't copy the appearance of like individual uh, appearance panel options. I mean, you can add them and then make sure they're the same settings. But what we can do here is open up the appearance panel. So that's going to be up in the window, down to uh, window drop down, down to appearance. And we open that up and we see this appearance panel over here. When we click on each different object, we have different uh, options in our appearance panel. This one has a stroke and a fill. This one only has a fill. This one has a stroke, a fill, the pucker and bloat effect. It also has drop shadow. So there's a lot going on here. So you can actually just click and drag the appearance, the entire appearance of an object from one object to another. So I've got this plain blue filled square over here. I can grab this one. And so as long as I have it selected, there's actually a preview of what the appearance looks like. I can click and drag that preview onto another object. So when I do that, it applies all of the appearance settings to that object. So I just applied everything, the fill and stroke from this guy, and it applied to this one. Now you might be thinking, well, how's that different than uh, you know the eyedropper tool? Well, when you actually have some different effects applied, so for instance, we got this square again. I press the I key for the eyedropper tool, and I'm probably going to get the fill and stroke of this shape over here. Just like that. Pretty simple, right? but I did not get the pucker and blow and I did not get the drop shadow. Those are effects and you can't pull those over. So what I could do is select this guy with all the effects, click and drag, same thing, onto a new shape and it pulls in everything to that new shape. And so now this shape has all of the features that this one did. And so then I could take from here and go and tweak and edit things. Maybe I didn't want the pucker and blow on this one, so I could just remove it, etc. So that is how you can copy the appearance from one shape to another, which is very handy at times, especially when you're trying to just bring drop shadows over and you don't want to redo them a bunch of times. That's how you can do that here in Adobe Illustrator.